All right, uh, Shalom Bon, Israel. Uh, first and foremost, I want to begin uh, by giving all the praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachacha Kodash, and uh, double honors unto my apostles, the elders of Great Most Honor Ruh Ra, and uh, peace, love, mercy, and salutations uh, you know, to the elect, the 144,000 which are scattered, uh, pushing the true doctrine of our Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, in all sincerity and in truth. And um, also Shalom unto the one third, which uh, consists of men, women, and children who uh, believe in our Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Um, first and foremost, I want to just apologize to Lakia, you know, for my low voice. And, um, you know, I'm currently, um, you know, sick. Um, you know, I have a cold, and so, you know, my nose is all stuffed up, etc. And so, it's a Lakia. But, uh, you know, I just want to get into this, into this uh, very short. Uh, to the point uh, topic about um, constantly saying Lord willing all uh, right which the scriptures you know tell us you know that that's you know that that's how we should approach uh, life all right um, everything in which uh, you know we have plans to do um, we constantly have to say Lord willing all right if the Lord allows for me to you know do this or do that. All right, because uh, we live in a world where you have a lot of people who are proud and, um, you know, they think that they have the power in their hands. And so when they, in their speech, in their plans, etc., they don't have the Lord in their mind, all right? And so Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah is the one that gives the final say. Um, and just like how they say in the world, um, you know, if you want to make the most high laugh, tell him your plans. You see, because a lot of the time, you know, people make plans, uh, but it does not go according to what they have planned. Why? Because ultimately, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah is the one that uh, gives the final say so as to what goes and what doesn't. And the scriptures tells us that, you know, our life is as a vapor. We don't know what's going to happen in the next minute or the next hour, or right, or the next day or the next month. And so when you approach whatever it is that you want to do, you constantly have to say, Lord willing, all right, I shall go ahead and do this or do that. And that's something that, you know, should be constantly in your mind, you know, if you have the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, um, you know, in your mind at all times. And so the scriptures tell me right here in the book of James, um, chapter 4, verse 13 and down, it says, Go to now, ye that say, today or tomorrow we will go into such a city. You see, because, you know, uh, when you look at it, uh, you know, in today's um, term, you know, you got people that make plans to go on vacation or, you know, they want to go visit family or even just, you know, tomorrow I have plans of, you know, working. All right. You know, it's the weekend, you know, tomorrow I got work. And so, you know, you plan on what time you want to wake up, you know, what time you want to hit the road, etc. All right. So the church is saying, OK, that, you know, for people who have such ideas, and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain you see you know you got plan on you know businesses that you want to um forward all right you know you got plans on you know just how you want your next year or next month etc to go as such and so a lot of the time you plan everything according to you know um the experience in which you've had in the past or what you've heard all right so that's your business or your plan can flourish all right so the scriptures goes on and it says verse 14 whereas you know not what shall be on the morrow that's right because you don't know what your life is going to be like tomorrow we absolutely have no idea man okay whether that you're going to fall ill all right or you know um and you know you're going to get into an accident all right you see or you know, nothing has to happen to you. Maybe something, you know, might happen to your loved ones and you have to um, attend to that matter. You don't know. Okay? And so the scriptures is saying, whereas you know not what shall be on the morrow. So you don't know what's going to happen on the morrow. Okay? For what is your life? It is even a vapor. You see, and a vapor, okay, is something that you see for a minute and then it disappears. It vanishes away into the air. Okay? So that's what our life is like, especially when you compare it to what the scriptures say that, you know, um, a thousand years unto us is as one day unto the Lord, the Ha'obashim, the 
So, you know, the life in which we live, all right, 60, 70 years, all right, you know, that's not long at all, okay? So imagine a day, one day going by, two days, even a month or a year, that is not long, okay, as compared to, you know, the thousands of years, okay, or immortality in which we're supposed to live, okay? And so it says it is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away, okay? Verse 15, for that ye ought to say, if the Lord will, and that's the point right there, okay? You have to say, if the Lord allows, okay, let thy will be done, or aman, amen, okay, let it be so, all right, or tawab, okay, so this is the mindset in which you have to have, if the Lord allows me to do such thing, we shall live and do this or that, all right, you see, and it says verse 16, but now you rejoice in your boastings, that's right, because a lot of the time, you got people who don't have that mindset at all, okay? They don't have that mindset um, as in the same mindset of those who constantly have the Lord Yahweh Pashim Yahshua in their mind. So whenever they, you know, um, plan to do something, they constantly say, Lord will it, okay? So you got people, you know, they boast, okay? So it says right here, but now you rejoice in your boastings of such rejoicing is evil that's right you see it's evil because the scripture says man's goings are of the lord how can a man then understand his own way okay therefore to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not to him it is sin that's right and what is good you constantly gotta say lord will it all right so i just wanted to bring that out all right and that's something that you know um you know lord willing okay <laughs> you know that it's edifying all right, but this is something that, you know, we constantly have to have in our mind, you know, with whatever it is that we want to do, okay? Whatever it is that we want to do. So with that, Shalom, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Barakatah, Shalom.